Welcome, time for an unboxing. This is a knife that I ordered, I think, four days ago, and I really was not expecting to get this knife. Um, this is a hinderer. This should be the third video on YouTube about this knife, um, and one of them is about the custom version. So, that may give away what this knife is. There are only, um, from what I heard, 120 of them ever made. I believe only 100 of them have been released. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that this is not my first hinderer knife. Um, I found quite a few of them. I only have one currently. I have a XM18 3.5 inch. I'll show that comparing to this one. So you get the regular cardboard box with the hinderer made in USA logo on the top. And the knife, the Rick Hinderer Eclipse. So I did make a video of the collaboration between Zero Tolerance and Hinderer the Zero Tolerance Eclipse that I actually have on pre-order, but this is the Rick Hinder Eclipse. Okay, let's take a detailed look at the Hinder Eclipse. You can see a black G10 scale. It appears to be using basically the same hardware as the XM18. I'm unsure if they are interchangeable. This is the same size as the 3.5 inch XM18. So, unsure if I already mentioned this, but I do have a zero tolerance version of this knife um, on pre order. Um, I have a video of that knife that I had filmed at Blade Show. I believe I've already posted it. But you can see the Hinderer logo right there. This is a Tanto. Not really a fan of Tanto, so I'm not sure how long I'll actually hold on to this knife. One thing that I did notice about this Tanto though is that it is not that aggressive of a Tanto. That angle is not. So you can see there, seems like it will be a nice slicer still. Let's see how thin the edge is. Okay, so that is a lot thinner than the Spantos on the XM18s were. So they did thin out the edge. It should be a much better cutter. Uh, maybe like a slicer grind on a hinderer is. So we have S35VN. I don't know if I mentioned this wedge already. Makes it look very nice. Kind of like, uh, is it the harpoon grind? Not sure. Okay, so we have the frame lock. Of course, we have the lock bar stabilizer right there. Same pocket clip that is on the XM18s and the 24s is right hand tip up, tip down carry. The lock up on it right there. Seems like a pretty early lock up. Nice. You can see it actually has a milling out there. I don't believe, well, um, other hinders do not have that. So that is a new feature on the clips. Makes it very comfortable to disengage. Very nice actually. Um, doesn't put any pressure on your finger. A lot of times knife companies will just have like a 90 degree angle that you're pushing up against right there. Check for milling in the liners. Um, and no milling out to reduce weight. So. You also have that depression right here to put your thumb. It doesn't have any jimping there. It actually kind of surprises me. Um, has some jimping up there, but I have rather long thumbs, and mine doesn't reach that very easily unless I kind of choke up on it. Um, does not have a choil. Put your finger right there. So, there you go. I really like this knife. I think some of the upgrades they've done are very nice, like the double finger grooves. Makes it rather comfortable. Use the flipper, let's try with 
thumb stud. Move this out a little bit. There we go. Mm. I don't really like opening it with thumb stud. It's more of a um, stop pin now. You can see that it can be rather difficult to actually get to that thumb stud because of this point between the two finger grooves. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no lanyard hole. Doesn't appear. You may be able to put a lanyard behind that, but yeah, they've removed a lanyard hole. Jumping on this, you have a bunch on the front, on this scale, or on the back of the scale. Absolutely none. The flipper tab, of course, has some. There will be a in-depth video showing this compared to the XM18, as well as showing a 1080p macro time of this. See the centering on there? The um, tip, uh, I wish I had a Spanto XM18 to show you, but it has a much finer tip on this than it does on a Spanto. But yeah, there you go. Feels absolutely fantastic in the hand. And there you go. Um, I do have a um, zero tolerance version on pre-order. Very excited about that. This uses uh, probably Teflon washers. Yeah, like the XM18. When the zero tolerance version will be using ball bearings. So there you go. Um... See if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Looking over it, seeing what's different between this and XM18. Oh, no hinderer name right there. On um, XM18s, they usually have right here, it will say hinderer. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.